Okay, that said, we're going to get into questions. Scott's up first. What's up, Scott? He says, about Google closing down the Google shortener, uh, I went to the Bitly site, and their article state that their links are 301. I also went to Firebase Dynamic Links, site recommended by Google. The navigation is so convoluted, I don't know if I ever found where to create a dynamic link. Does anyone with a flip, with a flow chart, or I guess he meant, does anybody have a flow chart or instructions? This is a serious situation, so maybe it needs some training in the mastermind group. Yeah, um, I know Marco's played around in there. Marco, what, what can you say about it? Yeah, you know, Bitly will turn your, as we know, the links into 302s for whatever reason. If they think it's spam, their algorithm is like that. So it's really hard to control. If you hit a 302, it's a dead end. As far as Firebase uh, dynamic links, I know that there's a learning curve, but it's it's actually what Google recommends. So that's where, where we'll be going. In the meantime, since we we have so many accounts, that, that we've used the, the Google URL shortener in, we're still under the, the grandfather clause where you can use it until next April. So we're still using it. it. It hasn't gone away. It hasn't disappeared. It hasn't stopped working at all. If you've used it before, you can still use it. If you've used the, the API before, you can still use it. You can still uh, mass uh, shorten URLs. You know, the only thing is if, if you're trying to do it with a new one, it's not going to work. You have to use accounts where you've used the shortener before. In the meantime, we'll be looking for a way to solve it. We'll, we'll look for a solution, something that works with uh, our RYS Academy Reloaded, of course, because we want to power everything up, and we'll, we'll just find a solution. We always do. It, it, it's not a dead end. It's just a little bump in the road, and, and we'll find a way around it. We have a whole, almost a whole year to play. Yeah, and I, I posted a, an article in, um, that was on the Zapier blog um, that's talking about five alternatives to the GOO.GL link shortener. And if you just go to Zapier.com, guys, and click on their blog, you'll be able to find the article. And one of them, uh, one of the recommended alternatives is Zapier. And I didn't even know they had a link shortener, but they do. So, um, you know, that, that could be a good alternative, too. Okay. As, uh, real quick, I'm testing a pretty cool shortener right now. It's a script that I downloaded and I'm testing it out. Maybe uh, we have a shortener, but maybe we could do something a little bit more powerful where we can offer a shortener solution to our mastermind members. You know what Mark my favorite one is, don't you? What's that? You know what my favorite link Which? shortener is, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah. SMshort.link, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> this this is our link shortener that I use, and uh, and I love it because yeah. <laughs> if anybody tries to root join uh visit the root URL, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But uh, um, I'm testing right now a shortener where you can open accounts, you know, free accounts or paid accounts, whatever. But it potentially is going to be free for most of my members. So I'm testing that out, and that would be a pretty cool tool because yeah, we, we can do whatever whatever kind of shortener we want. We actually have our own our own domains where, where we're going to be testing. We purchased a couple of, of, of really short, like five character domains to keep it nice and short and simple. And we'll offer a whole bunch of features that, that Google doesn't and we know how to power it up. So as I said, we will come up with a solution, Scott. It is just a matter of, of time and when we can dedicate our full resources towards the link shortener. You remember when I I shared one of our um, I don't, I shared something with that short link as the URL. And, and I remember some lady, it was on a hump day hangout too. And she was like, I visited, yeah. the link and I got cursed at. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. <laughs> was. All right. Anyways, what I like about using my own shortener is you can inject like read, uh, remarketing pixels and stuff right into the, the actual redirect URL, which is awesome. So, 